Welcome to CSS Battles, where Scott, Wes, and I are going to all attempt to recreate an image with CSS. We're using CSSBattle.dev, and they have a point system where the fewest number of characters wins. And we're going to go for this one with a 10-minute time limit. So we all have 10 minutes to recreate this image in the fewest number of characters possible. I'm going to do it in two. Is everyone ready? Yeah. I'm ready. All right, I'm about to stunt on these, uh, I would say fools, but... Uh, they're my homies. I'm about to stun on them here because you don't need any of this stuff. We're styling the body so we can just nuke all of that out. And I'm doing this in one selector, which should be fairly trivial. I'm also going to do this with one property. I just see four rectangles, basically. We could have four divs on the page, um, but this is shortest number of characters. Part of what people get wrong about this kind of stuff is they see four squares here and they say, oh, that's that's four divs. Um, why do we need divs? We got a background here. So we could use box shadow, like basically have a single div and then all the rest of them are all box shadows. We also could do a linear gradient. I just don't know what's gonna be less characters, a box shadow or a linear gradient. I'm gonna look this up on MDN. So my immediate thought was, let's use a linear gradient with some hard stops there. Man, that's hilarious. I don't know what the syntax is for a linear gradient. And with background, you can do a linear gradient. In fact, I'm gonna do zero deg uh, for zero degrees. It's starting at the uh, bottom going to top. So the way you wanna do this is color goes from 0% then to that same color at, let's say, since this is a big one, I'm gonna say like 20%. We'll adjust the percentages here to match but the, I'm just gonna eyeball it. And then again, you take the next color, which is this one, and you say this color from 20%, and we're gonna comma, same color, then go to something like, uh, I'm gonna have to tweak all these numbers, something like 30%. Let's get these colors in here now. And then I think the idea is we've gotta match it. So 20%. Yes, if you give a linear gradient the same stop as the previous one, then you get a nice hard edge. Seems like a lot of characters because a box shadow is just X, Y, and then colors. Okay, I'm going to go with box shadow. So here's my thought. We target a specific element. We're going to go with a P tag. I want this to be shortest character, so I'm not going to close it out. And then also we don't have to close out the style tag. And then here we're going to target the P tag. I have to remove the margin from the body. Yeah, I'm gonna try to target the body directly. So if we do body, then we actually don't have to specify an element. Yeah, okay, I think I need to have an element. I'm, I'm wasting so much time here just trying to figure out how we're gonna attack this. These are probably gonna need a lot of tweaking. In fact, I think the majority of time it's gonna take me to do this is gonna just be getting these percentages correct because I can already see percentage-wise I'm, I'm just super off. And then we're gonna say the last one then goes from 80% to comma and then 100%. So if I wrote this linear gradient correctly. Okay, I think we need like hard start and stop of the same color. What if I duplicate this? So I go from zero to 20 with the same color, okay. It looks like I forgot a comma here. That's it, that's it y'all, okay. So it looks like I was um, pretty far off on my initial percentages. Uh, another thing is I don't need a 0% here because that assumes it if I'm trying to save uh, code space here. And let's get this one correct first. 35%, 33%. Ooh, that looks pretty close. I think maybe if I target everything and say margin zero, yeah, then that, that's less, less characters. A P tag has 100% width by default, great. And then I want to, be able to give it a height and then use box shadow to create the, the rectangles underneath. Let's try with a height of 100%. Um, and then this one is just gonna have a background that's yellow. But then my thought is uh, if we set a negative margin, that'll push this one above what's visible. So if I do something like margin negative 200 pixels. Yeah, okay, so this, this is my thought. You can see how we're that yellow square there is getting moved up. So let's go uh, negative 250 pixels. That looks like the perfect height, okay. Okay, we're starting to get it. We'll figure out the stops in once we're done. And this goes to 50, and then this one starts at 50, goes to 100. Something broke, comma. <laughs> there we go, okay. 
Um, now let's let's figure out the matching. I mean, I think you do have to do percentages. I don't think you can do like 100 pixels. I just said that and I did 100 pixels and it <laughs> looks way better than what I had. Typically, I would do this in percentages, but the percentages in this particular case are obnoxious. Uh, always getting into point three point thirty point three three percent or any of that stuff. Like, no thanks. 15%, maybe 17%. 16 percent 16 and a half <laughs> this is kind of annoying that i have to update both of them 16.75 that's exactly it okay you can see i'm removing space as i go to to make it short as possible so there needs to be a space there now we go with the box shadow so our first box shadow is going to have no x offset but a y offset i believe it's zero for x and then let's say like 20 pixels in the y yes okay that's the way to go and then we want that box shadow to be orange. We've got five minutes left on the timer. I'm, I'm probably only gonna be able to solve it this way. Okay, so how big is that? 50 pixels was a good guess. Yeah, so that looks good. I'm curious, do we need the space between the PX and the hash? We don't, that's great. And then you can specify multiple box shadows. So we'll do a comma, and then we want the next one to be like 200 pixels, and we'll make it purple -ish. Yep, uh, 200 was too much, let's go with 150? Yeah, 150 is the way to go. Okay, so then the next one starts at 200 pixels and goes from 200 pixels and we'll say 250 pixels. Oh my word, y'all. I think I got this. So we need 250 pics and then like that. Is 250 pixels shorter than something like 80%, which also kind of worked? All I want to say though is damn i uh i crushed this um and then the next one needs to be a bit larger so is there multiple cursors there is so 32 percent 33 percent 33.75 this is a bit too much there we go 33.5 good and then the next one is let's go to 70 it's too much 60 not enough 65 66 67 66.5 66.75 that looks exactly it and then we have one more box shadow that's zero and then uh, let's try 200 um, get that color 250 it should be fine because it overflows this is my answer all right so we have 127 characters is there anything i can remove to make it smaller so this is maybe as small as I could get this. Now, I'm gonna look for micro optimizations here. Like if you just, if you omit the degrees, I think this breaks. Oh, it defaults to top down. Okay, that changes things. Shoot, all right. Shoot, 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 shoot. Cause now I don't have that much time. Okay. But now I'm curious, it has to be as small as possible. So what can we remove? Obviously don't need this div. How many characters is this? Does it tell me? No, it doesn't. How much time do I have left? Two minutes. Goes pretty quick, pretty quick. But white space count? Is it better to, oh yeah. What's, can I do this in line? Do I need to remove this margin? Or I, I guess I don't need it. I, I, I was able to specify without that, so. I think we're as small as possible. Let's see what score we have right now. We have 100% match. That's good. Like we're, it's a one-to-one -one match. We have a 722.68 score. I'm curious, do I need this closing parenthesis on the CSS? Or sorry, the closing curly brace? That increased it by like one point. Okay. Now it's time to optimize folks. Since we're going from top down, which I should have known, honestly. Let's just start from scratch here. <laughs> All right, top down then goes to the same number at let's say 50 pixels then we have a comma and then we have the next one which is our orange and we can say orange which then uh starts at 50 pixels and then goes for another 50 pixels or uh, 100 pixels okay and then this one starts at 100 pixels and goes to 200 pixels perfect oh my gosh crushing this okay and then this last one starts at 200 pixels and i think that's all i need folks Look at that micro optimization. I barely tweaked this, but I flip flopped it. I got rid of 
the degrees. I got rid of a couple of these definitions so I didn't have to say zero pixels. What if I do body style equals, is that less code? I think so, okay. Now let's get rid of the spaces in here. Oh, those are necessary, I guess. <laughs> the spaces after the commas are not necessary, okay. The space is not needed. Let's see. I probably I don't need that semicolon there. Okay, that should give us like one or two more points. Yeah, so 725. I feel good about this. I just know that Scott and Wes are like really good at CSS. They probably know so many more tricks that I don't know, but they are new to code golfing with CSS. And as far as I know, that looks pretty effing perfect. I would like to see either of them try to have a better solution than this. I would imagine CJ's got like four divs going. Um, I could see Wes also using a linear gradient, but is there any smaller possible way I can have this defined? I'm going to say absolutely not. I think I crushed this, but I'm just gonna use these last couple minutes to kick back. And... Nailed it. All right, I'm gonna submit. Woo! Your stats, 100% match and 692.17 points. All right, I'm done. 30 seconds left. I'm thinking now, do I even need the pixels here on margin? Oh man, I just heard CJ saying he's adding margin. I'm gonna win this so good. I don't. Oh, that's better. Okay, that's gonna give me at least one more point. All right, that's gotta be it. There's no way they beat this. I think I won. I'm going to say that right now. What'd you get? I got a hundred percent match. Uh, my, my score was 601.35. You're very confident over there. How about you, Wes? All right. I got, I got a hundred percent match. Um, 692 high score. What? I cannot believe that I won this. What? I look, I just, I sent a screenshot. I got a hundred percent match with a 727 Point four five high score. So, uh, what did you guys use? I used box shadows. Oh, did you guys box use, shadow. I use a use linear, linear gradient. I, I, How I did contemplated. you do a smaller linear gradient than me? You removed white space and stuff. Oh wait, did, was I supposed score. to remove the comments? Yes. Yes. Oh, can that I that remove the way, comments? Way to read. Yeah. I'll, I'll allow it. Yeah. So uh, th this is our this is our first time doing this together. So yeah, yeah, remove the comment. I won't let you remove any more white space than that, but absolutely remove the comments. Oh, man. I think my gradient is going to be smaller than Wes's. I optimized the shit out of my gradient. 687 after removing white space. Still not as good as mine. I did mine on an inline style tag and I put the body without a closing body tag. I got killed and I should have used a tech shadow like CJ did is with a linear gradient hard stops, you need a start and a stop. So you're duplicating them all every but you time. Here, here's why my gradient's better than yours, Wes. I, I would have had a higher score if I, would have, if I would have done the inline style because you don't need a start or end hard stop. Oh. And I went pixels, which are smaller. So yeah, I, yeah, I omitted the start and end no, and I went pixels. pixels are not smaller. Percentage yes. one character. No, That's you characters. have six, 16.75% is five characters, uh, where, oh, or that six right. characters, where mine is, what, 100 picks? Yeah. I apply your cheesy optimizations, and I think I, I win. <laughs> yeah, so let me walk you through some of my optimizations. I didn't close the P tag, for one. That saves you, like, four characters yeah. or whatever else. I don't even have um, a P I, tag. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I bounced between, like, trying to target the body or not. I didn't close the final... CSS rule, there's no curly brace there, and there's no closing to the style tag. The browser just adds that automatically. Mm -hmm. And I removed all the spaces I could between the colons and the semicolons, and the last style of every rule does not have a semicolon. Man. The box shadow is definitely the way to go because I resubmitted mine with Wes's optimizations, and I got to 700. So yeah. that's as good as linear gradient can be because I, I I was talking a lot of shit during while I was recording. <laughs> but <laughs> Winner. All right. Good. Thank you so much for watching. Obviously, I am the best at this, but if you want to see us do more uh, or uh, compete in web dev trivia, definitely check out this video here. And uh, we have tons of other cool stuff on the channel, so subscribe.